All right, we've landed in a remote section of the San Rafael Swell in Southern Utah. Our plan today is to go down what I think is an unknown slot canyon. If it's not unknown, it's probably rarely done. So at the very least, we'll be doing something few people have ever done. Should be pretty cold. We've all brought wetsuits. Kristoff has brought the thinnest wetsuit, so he'll be the canary in the coal mine. If he starts to have hypothermic uh, reactions to the canyon, we'll know it's time for Matt and I to get out. Right now it's in the 30s here in the desert, and that means that we might be breaking through ice in the canyon. It's gonna be cold, and yeah, like Danny was saying, I think it's nice to have the warmest wetsuit. Therefore, you know that at least you're the most comfortable person there and you have no reason to complain. We know there's gonna be some swimming. 40 degrees in swimming uh, just doesn't sound like fun, really, but we'll find out. Yeah, it should be pretty pretty chilly, to say the least. We flew over it once, a lot of water. We did bring wetsuits. I definitely have the thinnest wetsuit of the bunch, but I also have the highest body fat percentage by at least four or five percent. So I'm hoping that kind of compensates it keeps me alive. The first challenge of the day was getting these wetsuits on. I'm kind of exhausted. Need a break. Oh, these wetsuits are rough. You might be wondering why on earth we're all wearing super bright Gore-Tex jackets. And the answer to that is visibility. For the video's sake, when we're going down the canyon. We've got to figure out where we want to get into this place. And we don't want to set up a rope. That just takes time and is annoying. But we might have to. I think we're going to be glad we wore our warmest outfits because there is ice in the bottom of that. Okay, we've made it into the bottom of the canyon. From here on out, it's going to be icy water for the next two miles. We're already getting to some water right off the bat, and it looks cold. Hopefully, we've all worn enough. Oh, I might as well not try to uh, like avoid this at all because we're just this is what we're going to be doing all day long, right? We don't even know what's around the next corner. We honestly don't. There's, there's nothing. But we are gonna have to jump. But if you jump, you can hit a light. You can hit a rock two feet under. <laughs> I got the memo now. Matt just uh, tried to do a hairline, but it did look very difficult, and he had to drop in. It's very, very cold. We're working uh, sun rock to sun rock with uh, frigid swims in between. But as you can tell, I'm starting to uh, chatter my teeth uncontrollably. I think we're all shivering a little bit. The water has been uh, dirty and frigid as we expected. But at least we're not breaking ice anymore. a little bit out of the canyon to get into some sun while we eat our lunch. We're not sure how much farther we have, but I think we are all not even secretly hoping that it's not very much. 
<laughs> it's pretty cold. This water's cold. We've done a ton of swimming. We've been submerged at least half the time we've been in this canyon. We're just gonna go hopefully a little bit further and then climb back out and head back towards the helicopter. But for right now, we're all enjoying a warm lunch and trying to dry out some stuff, which is a pointless task because it's just gonna get wet again. I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, am I warming up in the sun or am I simply just drifting into that state of hypothermia where you feel uh, warm and soothed and uh, I'm just gonna drift off into a nice sleep. My wetsuit stinks. <laughs> or it's the water in the wetsuit that stinks. Or maybe my pee, the wetsuit, and the water that all kind of stink. I think this is where we turn around. I mean, my hands are ice cold. It's getting colder. There's, I don't think I could get out of that. And I know I can't get out of this. So 100%, I have to rely on you guys to pull me out. And that's, this is a lot to pull out. All right, this is where we call it quit. We, we don't want to do this move right here, unprotected, got of line. So Danny is going to see if he can drop a rope down somehow. All right, we've escaped the clutches of the canyon. Uh, and it was kind of scary getting out of this canyon right here at the pothole where we got held up. We didn't have the proper gear to go through the potholes. So we've exited right here. And I went unaided, and it was terrifying. And then I got Kristoff up with me with the rope, and now we're just blowing Matt up. He gets nothing but rope. We can't injure the helicopter pilot, so we have to keep him safe. I think the best part was that there was no one in the group that knew where we were going, really. So we were going down there, every corner was new. And uh, I learned one thing, that is don't take wetsuit booties. And that's just it. I was slipping all over the place. The important thing is we've all made it back alive, even with that challenging climb out of the canyon. Started off really great, exciting, the unknown, all of that was there. And then we just became more and more cold the further we went down the canyon. That's the San Rafael Swell Slot Canyon. I'm sure somebody has a name for it, but I'm not gonna find out what it is. It's more exciting to believe that few people have gone down this than do the research and discover that a ton have. <laughs>